our dear friend Mike Pillow, who uh, is very excited that three states are going to hold full forensic audits. Now, it doesn't matter that those three states are states that Trump won and that any fraud they find, um, I would argue, is proof that Trump attempted to steal the election and he was pissed that he lost the, the popular vote last time. So he was rigging the popular vote to pad it in other places and it didn't work and he still lost by a massive amount. And so what he's doing is like, it, it's it's kind of like busting a window, jumping in and, and stealing stuff from your own store and then trying to claim the insurance um, at, you know, you created the crime. And then when the cops show up, you're like, yeah, somebody busted the fucking windows. I don't know how, how this even worked out. So, yes, Brexit was a mess. Still is a mess. They're still looking at Arizona. No, they're not. They're just wandering. <laughs> they're, I mean, the cyber ninjas, uh, just poof. Where's the report? And by the way, that um, part of the cyber ninjas Maricopa County thing was gathering up all the voter information from a, a database provided by the the council there or whatever, the, um, the state senator that was working with them and giving it to some asshole in Montana to take to his friggin' barn and keep. And you're worried about a chip in your fucking vaccine? Grow up. It, it, you should be worried about a guy named Chip that works for Mike Lindell giving your, uh, your social security number to random militia dickheads in the woods. All right. So, here we go. This will probably... Uh, How many... New state. Oh, oh it's uh, uh, so this is real America's well. Okay, so this is this is from uh, Steve Ban Bannon's War Room pandemic. Okay, so I um, this is uh, titled Three States to Hold Full Forensic Audits." Do you think? Because uh, you know, by the way, for the audience, we're going to have uh, some representatives. I think of the grassroots movement in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, grassroots. Not at all people who are paying to coordinate these things for us. Totally grassroots. Yeah. That are not in love with the Jay Corman uh, um, hearings next week and want just to go right to uh, 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 right to subpoenas for the ballots to because to do a full forensic audit you got to get your hands on the ballots we know that from Arizona so we're going to have and don't think yeah we don't know anything from Arizona except that you guys spent a good deal of time stuffing your thumb up your ass we're putting pressure on these guys and we understand exactly what's going on so don't think we're being naive about this uh, no i would never think you're being naive by having mike lindell on as your expert <laughs> if there's a greater example of naive i don't know what it is but when you talk at these red state secretaries of state how many new red states or how many red states or how many states that are not arizona georgia Wisconsin, you know, the battleground states that were all over to try to get these full forensic audits. How many additional states, as you see it right now, <laughs> do you believe we're going to come up and start doing full? Do you believe are going to? Forensic audits. Well, I know three are for sure. And I'm, those are the ones I'm not going to name. Um... <laughs> well, I mean, that's all I need. I mean, that, I mean, you got me. It's Friday. Fucking, you know, guys, let's pack up uh, and we'll uh, hit it hard on Monday, you know. He's, uh, they're three for sure. He's not going to name them, but <laughs> oh, is the video loud? I apologize. It's uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Hmm. I will say that I talked to a fourth with uh, about fourteen other uh, secretary of state and fourteen of their legislators and county clerks. It was a that was in Missouri, so that would be the fourth state. Um, but what's happening is all these states that didn't think they so were. You could tell us Missouri, but you can't tell us the other three. We're showing them. We're showing them the actual extrapolated data from all the from that those uh, terabytes. Oh yeah, the the P caps that I've had that I've um, that I've been telling everyone for four or five months. You mean all the uh, the the data behind like Viagra ads on websites that you guys have like? Oh my God, look at all the text. Hold on one second. Um, let's see. Um, um, catheter. Um, let's see if we have this, uh, view, text encoding, let's see if I, oh, I have to do it in Chrome. Hold on. Let me, I, I need to show you guys some real data. Um, this is always tough, you know, when you're, when, you know, 
You're trying to show everybody the real deal. Um, let me stretch this out so I can see it. And then uh, um, you, there we go. I mean, look, this, I mean, if you look at this data, um, I mean, a lot of you guys, I mean, you can see what this is. Anybody wants to just take a screen cap, you can see what's in here. Um, it should be real easy. Just read what I'm showing you right now. I mean, this is the real deal, okay? This is some, you know, this is a, um, uh, this is, you know, real texts. This is live on the internet right now. Um, this is, you know, full on genuine computer stuff, right? Let me, you know, let me uh, show you what it is. Um, let's see if I can. Here, here, I'll show you what it is. Uh, this, the, this is the code. What you would normally see, for example, is this. Um, we ship urinary catheter supplies right to your doorstep at little or no cost. Picture of guy with bird. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is computer stuff looks very complicated. It's very complicated. You know, if you're going to, like, you get a little comfort kit, a little packet right there for your catheter. Um, there's some straight tip catheters in there as well, but that's not important. The important thing is, is look at this code. Very, I mean, this is, we, we are capturing this live and nobody will talk about this. You don't see anybody except on Fox news, maybe. And shame on Fox, quite frankly, shame on Fox for showing this on, but they don't show the real story. They don't show you the real code behind it. Fox is just showing you how to buy catheters from guys in airplanes um, and that the phones are open every day. But, you know, they won't show you the real deal. <laughs> it's cyber. It's so cyber. Um, I Here's the thing. I could sell this code to Mike Lindell for $100,000 if I just told him it was, it was evidence of voter fraud. He just, he wouldn't even, it would just be a blank check. Now, actually, Steve, too, we're putting up, I've set you, I don't know if you have those graphics, but I set, we're putting them up on Frank's speech, everybody's state, all 167,000 intrusions, and we're putting them up there. Uh -huh. Even the ones where Trump didn't, he, uh, the intrusions didn't work, but Trump still lost votes. You still haven't explained that one to me. For those of you that haven't been watching for a long time, I've, I live streamed and went through all of Mike Lindell's movies. All of them. And one of the big things he pointed out in the third one, absolute proof, absolute, before absolute nine zero, whatever the fucking one where he had, he had all the intrusions. That's what he's talking about. And a bunch of the intrusions, it said whether they were successful or not, like computers in China attacked our computers. And then it said, were they successful with the hacks or not? And yes, and when the yes, Trump lost 3,000 votes right at that second when this attack happened. And then the one below it says, this attack happened. Was it successful? No. Trump lost 7,000 votes. So maybe it has nothing to do with whether or not the attacks even happened or, what, or whether they were actually attacks or whatever the fuck they did. Maybe, just maybe, it's just lined up with the timeline of them counting all the votes that came in either from early voting or via mail in all these places and they just went through them. Because uh, if it was a real hack, one would think you would have to hack to change the vote count so drastically. But, in, but he eliminated all the ones for in the second episode we had where he was showing that stuff. They cut out all the ones where the, the attacks weren't successful because the vote Trump lost votes on those two and it obviously is in, irreconcilable and silly. You'll actually see the computers that were involved. You'll see uh, Yeah, the Alibaba servers, the ones you can look up and get the IP from, from the fucking website. IP addresses and everything. Really? I mean, do I even have to? All been validated. We, we, we've, we've got it. We can put it up there. Can you walk our audience through? Yeah, walk us through the tech. So let me shift this. You got full forensic audits. That was, and people have to understand, in Sioux Falls, two things were going on. You had legislators led uh -huh. by kind of Colonel Wendy Rogers and Sonny Borelli, the Arizona guys. But you had, you know, the 50 states were essentially represented. Led by them. And by led by them, we mean uh, they were sitting there with them, and then they all ate at the same time. 
but you had yep. legislatures for many of them. And that, what people, the mainstream media didn't want to talk about, it, there was a bonding there, almost forming a caucus. Yeah, it was almost a caucus. It was like half a caucus. Like, like a, like a limp caucus. Like a, like a dangling, functionless caucus. Yes. They do full forensic audits in all 50 states. In particular, <laughs> states like Texas and the other states, I, I'm convinced we're, we're going to pick up a couple of House seats. I'm not even sure Nancy Pelosi is, is, uh, is the the leader of the speaker of the house you're def right yeah i mean why why would you believe any of it i mean i don't believe any of the republicans were elected why would i if all the elections are fake and and i mean <laughs> i'll pick up some senate seats right in michigan and georgia and in in arizona my belief is if you do these full forensic audits um yeah no no i will i will tell you right now if they find any fraud whatsoever Trump paid for it, and his numbers will go down. You get rid of the but machines. The key, <laughs> the key is get rid of the machines. Yes, we need Amish elections from now on. I know it's 2021, but we should think backwards. You've got to get these AGs coming out. Of the there you go. So here we go. T votes. Biden votes. Trump votes. Trump. Biden votes. Trump votes. Biden different. Trump difference. Time source IP. Target IP. Pratt. Oh, we looked up one of these. These are all in Alabama. Fucking Alabama. I don't believe anything in Alabama, clearly. By indifference, the Trump... I, this is so weird. They, oh, the red is just them going, if, it, if Biden got that many, then it was really Trump's votes. Cherokee, Chambers, Calhoun, whatever. These, why was there no Target... How is there a tar a source IP that attacked, but no target IP? They didn't hit anything in Barber, but it affected the vote count the same way it did if there was a, a target IP. And let's go see. Hold on one second. Let's take the source IP. Let's see. Uh, dot. Where we go? Six six one nine six two thirteen. Six six. Uh. uh one nine six dot two thirteen. Whoops. <laughs> nope, nothing. Okay, hold on one second. Uh, let's see. Maybe maybe they don't just want IP look up. I'll just try another site. Give me one second. Uh, it's an IP look up. Let's go. Enter the IP lookup. There we go. Um, whoops. Paste there. Delete that. Delete that. There we go. Get IP details. Um, so the first one, the source IP for the first uh, Prattville attack. Yeah. Is a is a Japanese bank. Now, never mind the fact that uh, you can just kind of pick these, <laughs> and the latitude and longitude, like they like like that's hard to figure out. Like, look at all this detail. We got latitude, longitude one, two, Prattville, lat and the second one will be Prattville, Alabama. Um, the time, 11.5, this one's 11.3, this one's 11.4, this one's 11.6. So the idea is that they're somehow in order if you breeze by the date part and the time. The date and time is over, you know, these, I don't know why they wouldn't be in order. But, okay. So uh, on the 5th of, uh, uh, of November in 2020 at 7.44 p.m., I don't know if that's Japan time, um... SoftBank, uh, which has a likely static IP and uses broadband, one would think, in Osaka, Japan, uh, decided to help China attack our elections. Um, let's let's see who else we have on here. Let's let's grab another IP address randomly, a source IP, eight forty six seventy six seventy six, eight. 
46.76.76. Now I'm sure that some of these What? Eight, four, eight, four. You're kidding me, right? Okay, this one's good. This one's solid. I, I'm going to check before I show it to you. What's the latitude and longitude? 41. It doesn't say. Apparently, uh, our elections were attacked by a go-go in-flight internet account over Kansas. Kansas attacked our own thing. And that's, by the way, uh, that's the um, the source IP. That is the source of the attack. The source of the attack was from... And, and I will just tell you, like, the vast majority of this bullshit that they're showing is people checking the vote counts. Like, and, and this includes, like, some of the people, like, it very well may, may be that this bank check somebody at this bank was checking the current status of the the vote count in one particular area i don't know i don't know why it would be platteville alabama let's see what place they were attacking so these are the places they were going to let's see uh plus six okay six six dot uh where was it one five five one oh six twenty five one five five one oh six dot twenty five okay so this is the ip address for, whoops, I made a comma there instead of a period. I'll fix that. Um, this is the target IP uh, that they were attacking. Prattville, Alabama, right? Target IP, 66155-10625. IP details for 66155-106.25. Mail, Mail.teamingenuity.com. Uh, at which is out of Los Angeles, California. It's a peer one, so it's a bounce through. But host name mail.teamingenuity.com. Well, let's find out who the fuck they are, shall we? Let's do this. Sign in at mail enable. I didn't have that. Mobile versions, options. Enable background image. Okay. English skin Mondo Oceano. Remember my settings? Yeah. This is an email program. So, so far, we've looked up uh, two source IPs. One was a Japanese bank. One, the Bay Minette, Alabama one, was from a GoGo in-flight server in the air in Kansas at the time, I think. And then uh, the target IP we looked up... Um, was uh, that's supposed to be Otaga County, target IP, target counties, was uh, they attacked a, a peer uh, mail server, which has a likely static IP in Los Angeles, in Otaga County. I mean, this is just lazy bullshit. They're just counting on you to not give a fuck. So let's look way down at the bottom. Let's look at the one at the bottom, Rockford, Okay. Rockford, Alabama, 11-320. That's on election day at 11:44. Source IP 64184-22539. So here we go. 64.184.22539. Whoops. 38, not three, three nine, not three eight. Okay. So Rockford, Alabama, the source IP of this attack, let's see, um, is, it's probably China, right? It's got to be China. Um, no, visionary communications, broadband likely static IT in, in Cheyenne, Wyoming. 64184-22539. 64184-22539. These are people just checking the election. And then they're just lining up the fact that Trump was losing votes. Yeah, it was Dick Ch It was Liz Cheney checking the vote count. All right, so let's look at the target count on this. 144 dot, where is it? 208, 84, 146. 208, uh, 
uh, sorry, oh, 84. Uh, 84, I have to type under my um, microphone. So it's hard to see. Okay, 144-208-84-146. This is the target IP in Coosa County. Where did it hit? Yeah, just another one in, uh, in uh, u.s.next, uh, a corporate account in Kansas. Latitude, longitude, uh, is it match? Does that match what they said it was? 32866, nope. 44.7862, negative 10696. Okay, so latitude one is the source IP. Latitude two is what arguably the text IP, uh, right? So let's go to maps. So they say that um, they're telling us, by the way, that the attack on Rockford was coming from a Chinese server, right? And so this is where the, the actual IP goes to, is someplace in Kansas. But they're giving us, let's look at a map. And uh, let's see, we're going to look up, um, search Google Maps. There we go. Uh, to 44.7862. Um, and negative, whoops, 106.9608, 9608, let's see if this looks this up, 44 north by, uh, 106 west, yes, uh, it was a dog, we were attacked by a dog, we were, America was attacked by it. This dog stole the election from Donald Trump. Sheridan, Wyoming. That's where they are. Here's some photos from Sheridan, Wyoming. Welcome to the dog park. It's a dog park. Uh, the American election was attacked by a dog park in Sheridan, Wyoming. And obviously, if anybody wanted to get Donald Trump out of the White House, it was a it was a persnickety dog park owner that was very concerned that everybody scooped their poop. I mean, that's how we get rid of Trump. That's that's what it says. There you go. This is the, um, let's see if we can move this in. Yeah. Um, this is, oh, we'll back this out. There you go. Near the Walmart Supercenter. There it is. Sheridan, Wyoming. Right up from Bighorn, down there from Ranchester. I like your style, dude. Partly cloudy, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, there's a, let's see if this is a Sheridan, Wyoming. There you go, layers. Let's see, let's show the satellite. This looks a lot more sinister. Um, we should turn off the names too. But understand what we're looking at here. They're supposed to, they want you to look at this and freak the fuck out. And I guarantee that the vast majority of Steve Bannon's viewers, that uh, Mike Lindell's crowd, is making the case that, oh my fucking God, this is, look at, look at that computery computer stuff. Target, source IP, target counties, the Biden votes, the Trump votes, the Biden votes, the Trump votes. Do they just, uh, Bannon, you cannot post this shit on the screen. Did you learn nothing from Mike Lindell? It should go by like this. Otherwise, people can look shit up. None of this will line up. Not a fucking thing. I, I mean, I could do this all fucking day. Anything they put on the screen, we could do this. And you're going to find, at best, you're going to find, obviously, you know, like IP addresses you can look up random IP addresses that they've just put in and and you could just grab any of them, plug that into the fucking software that was being demoed to Mike Lindell, but that the security guys who were in Austin, Texas, who were trying to sell their shit to the U.S. government and failed, are trying to sell it to Mike Lindell as evidence instead of actually a demo of software that would supposedly catch fraud if it actually happened because the U.S. said, thank you, but no thank you. We've already figured out how to do that. Piss off. 
And so they put all this money into it. So what they did was they went to Mike Lindell. They created a list of phony IPs like they did during the demo process to show the United States. What if we were attacked by this country and this country and this country and this country? And they took all these things out. And then they just changed the name to Trump and Biden, changed the times and just randomized it. And you see this big, ridiculous, you know, missile command looking screen. And everybody's like, oh, Jesus, can you imagine, you know? And yet all of this. You can just look these fuckers up all day long. And I would challenge anybody who's a Trumper or a maggot who's watching any of the trolls. Go to go to Steve Bannon's show. Go to Real America's Voice. Go to the War Room Pandemic. They're going to post this kind of crap all the time. Look them up. Spend all goddamn day. Waste your time. Look, Go, go to IP Lookup and pick any of these. This is, I mean, it's just lazy. I mean, all right, but we're all supposed to think this is evidence. Look at the red. Look at they fucking make the difference in votes red that you think Biden Biden got all these extra votes he shouldn't have gotten is what they're saying. Because why? Because a, a, somebody at a dog park in Wyoming checked what the fucking vote tallies were in Alabama. What are the chances somebody who used to live in Alabama lives in Wyoming and has a dog? Yeah, it's red. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. The uh, uh, how it's it's one thing like you we all know we all know they're full of shit. But their own supporters, like to think your own supporters are that fucking dumb that they're just gonna look at the shit and go, oh, oh my god. It's all a big show. Look at how I figured out I've done all the things. I know how it all works. Dude, shut the fuck up. It's so stupid. I'm not in a, I'm not in a band called Nerd Halen for nothing. Still got a hurdle. And the hurdle is you've got to get some... <laughs> yeah, the hurdle is you're stupid. He's stupid. Everyone's stupid. To sign on so that you can actually get standing to get to the courts. That, that you're not going to get standing with this bullshit asshole. Like, I don't get, where is this coming from? Why do you ever think this is even evidence? Who is it? Yes, I think you're right, guys. I think if anybody, and this, you know, makes a lot of sense. If anybody deserves five, five eggs today, it is, it is Steve Bannon and Mike Lindell. Five eggs. Today's winner of five eggs. Ah, uh, thank you. We five got a eggs in a month. So we got a Patreon out of that. Thank you so much for joining on Patreon. I mean, where else is anybody doing this work for you? Seriously. And, and Steve Bannon, I'll go on your dumbass show and explain this bullshit to you. You're the one, like, and folks, we have watched on this show multiple times where Steve Bannon is laughing his ass off at Mike Lindell. He knows this is bullshit. But Mike Lindell keeps buying pillow ads, so he keeps dragging his ass out there. Five eggs. Yep, that's right. Today's five eggs. Five eggs. Go to Mike Lindell and and uh and and I suppose they're gonna have to split them and and Steve Bannon. Eat two eggs a day. Right. So there, somebody gets one egg left over. You guys could trade off. Correct. Are you That's in the correct, Steve? Where are you in the process right now of convincing extracting your head from your ass? These guys, this data is correct. Convincing hey, their teams. Where do you stand on that? Here, I'll, I, I know where he stands on it. Uh, on on fucking mud. On quicksand. And we're standing pretty good. Here's what here's what's it's manifested. So, by the way, the two new the, besides the six swing states that Donald Trump won, he also won uh, New Hampshire and Minnesota. So there's bullshit ones that actually flip the states. All the other states um, that we've went to, the red states such as Missouri, they won by a lot more than what than what he said, which will give them standing. Now, getting the no, it won't. We, he won, but he won by more. Like, first of all, you have no proof. You're making all of this up. It's a fantasy. Oh yeah, by the way, I I uh, we forgot to mention that. Um, um, the cells plane that came up. Um, this this is working out.
<laughs> Mike Pillow conspiracist uh, sells $2.5 million plane to fund fraud lawsuit defense. Well, where's he going to fly to? He's in danger everywhere he goes. And, and this is uh, when he got, you know, into the shouting match with the dude from CNN. Oh, why? Just forget about the evidence. If I'm right that China took our country right now, do you care? Would that bother you? But you, but you have would to that the, bother you? But you have to show the proof for it. No, right? would, well, would, would that bother you? Of course it would. Okay, then why do you think I keep going? Do you think I like getting attacked? Do you understand? All I need is for all those experts to say, yep. It's from the 2020 election. But that's, that's, not, all that's not proving the election was rigged, though, right? Yeah, I have that proof with my people that we're bringing the Supreme Court. I don't need the media driving the narrative before my case to the Supreme Court. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, f- fucking lunatic, um, simple-minded, and is present. The, I have to say, the most irritating part of all of his uh, quote-unquote evidence is just how chintzy it is. Going in there and we're doing camp. It's kind of a three-step process. We do it. Yeah, it's a three-step. Uh, first, you uh, put one foot on your right, and you put your other foot down to your left, and then you wind up your right foot, and then you kick in a big circle until you hit yourself in the ass. It's a three-step process. Two week quick canvassing to show them here. This actually, they use ghost. You're not going to do a fucking canvas and threaten voters. Why? Why? Yes. By the way, hey, Mike Lindell, go to um, black and Hispanic neighborhoods and tell them that you don't think people live in their houses. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Let's go to the next house. <laughs> next house you know what let's have lunch and we'll try the others um ghost voters so to speak uh that didn't exist took them off the voter rolls of 2000 they took people off the voter rolls that didn't vote all the people removed and trump's been bitching about they took 200,000 people off the voter rolls yeah those people didn't vote they did not turn in ballots if you don't turn in a ballot two elections in a row they remove you and you have to refile if you moved and you didn't take yourself off, you didn't go, I am moving, you know, I'm unregister me to vote, which nobody fucking does. You just don't vote. And here's the thing. If you moved and somebody took your ballot and used your ballot to vote, they wouldn't kick you off because your vote had been turned in. The very fact that they are kicking people off the voter rolls and the numbers, you know, that they're seeing is because they did not vote. They didn't vote. No vote showed up. No ballot arrived from that person. Anybody who was kicked off the voter rolls has not voted in two elections in a row in all of these fucking states. This isn't even... The the most frustrating part of this is none of this is news. So we show them that, and then we show them their... We We show them that people who didn't vote are no longer on the rolls... Great. Okay. Uh, check. Please continue. Is the white van here? They're going to need the butterfly net. And no tangerines, apparently. They, like you just had on the screen, all of those intrusions in their state, which were, were not intrusions. Uh, post on Frank's speech. The exact intrusions, the exact... Comp- they weren't intrusions. I don't even... I don't even believe they're real. I don't believe that's real data. I think it's a lazy mock-up that someone sold you. Mike, you have a lot of fucking free time, man. You're spending millions of dollars. You're you're accusing Dominion and Smartmatic of these horrifying things, being in league with the Chinese government, a government that rounds people up in concentration camps, a country that is is basically letting levees blow up so that they can drown entire villages, so they can build tall towers in their place. And you're accusing Dominion and Smartmatic of of being in league with those people. That's a horrifying allegation. And you're not even bothering to sit down at your fucking computer, find a 15-year-old, 
you know, anybody on Twitch, you guys could help them out. Any, literally, anyone with a Twitch account, I guarantee knows how to fucking do this. And there's got to be, I have a grandkid. I don't give a shit. Find someone in your family, Mike, to sit you down and sit and take you to IP Lookup and go through all of them. Sit there all fucking day. All God, spend a whole day. If you believe in this, you spent three days bullshitting the world. You can sit down for three for a whole 24-hour thing. Don't do any interviews. Don't go on, on fucking Bannon's show or anywhere else. Just sit there at a goddamn computer and look at the list of IP addresses they gave you and look them all up and go, ah, oh, fuck. I've been robbed. Because what do you think that you know is more likely? That China got a bunch of people in the United States to help them give Biden the White House in red states, including Georgia, and in other states where they, even though they let Trump win them, they gave him extra votes. In fifth, all 50 fucking states that that, that that occurred or that you are a gullible fuck and you are being ripped off. What do you, I mean, honestly, if you had to, if you have to flip a coin on that one and, and then the biggest conspiracy theory in the whole world, or you might be a gullible asshole. You might. exact machines and then they go in and it's fair they've been very very willing hey you do this and so now we're going to go in and do an audit and they and they can get subpoenas real easy and some of them they don't even get subpoenas now i've talked directly to two of the secretaries or i mean to all the secretary of states in those five states but directly to two of the attorney generals you are correct steve as soon as they're done with their audit thing now the attorney general they have standing in that state i told you by the way, the only reason a lot of these red states are doing audits or any of this shit is to pretend like they're doing something so that by the next election, the, the, the Republican voters will go out and vote. Because thanks to Mike Lindell and Donald Trump, most of their voters, their hardcore voters, don't believe in the elections anymore. They're not going to vote next year, even though they're still big Trump lovers, even though they can't wait to get some, you know, more Trump ready Congress people in there. They're not going to vote. Why would you if you believe it's fake? So they have to go through these motions of having these bullshit audits and say, we found some stuff, but we solved it. It's fixed for next time. We can't fix last time. That's why Mo Brooks was like, we got to look forward, not backwards. The, the reason he's saying that is because this is all CYA to get people, you know, cover your ass, to get people back to the voting booth next year. Because they're not going. That's what all these audits are about. They have nothing to do with finding actual fraud. They have to be able to go to their voters and go, we did, we looked, we found some shady shit. Unfortunately, the law on the Supreme Court's not on our side, but we fixed it. And they're not fixing shit. To the symposium, I'd like to get all 50 states, but I, I know that's a dream, but everyone everyone should be concerned about this. But if we end up, we own this, the lawyers say we only need a couple, two or three, but I think we'll end up right around the 20s, the tw you know, at least 20, 15 to 20 but, 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 Bull shit. Hang on, we're going to bring in John Frazier here in a second, a breaking news out of Georgia that you're going to want to hear. But let me, you're not saying that the the AGs of those battleground swing states, the ones that are about the certification, they don't have to do a full forensic audit first. They're going to be able to take the data you provide because they'll, they'll be convinced that it's valid. They yeah. Yeah, just guys, as long as they don't have IP lookup available to them in any internet browser, it's totally convincing. Do a separate full forensic audit before they move forward. Hype train happening in Twitch right now. Don't forget twitch.tv slash Hal Sparks live uh, every day, basically every day, except Sunday. I need a day off to fix my gear. <laughs> um, and of course, uh, uh, like and subscribe, give a thumbs up right now. You can do it right now. Just do it right now. There's a th Just click the thumbs up to click a like and whatever. If you're just watching randomly on Twitch, just follow. Just do the follow thing. If you're already f following, think about subscribing. If you're already subscribing, maybe be a patriot. I'm just saying. 
Where else are you finding anyone who's this right about everything? I will put my record of, of prediction and explanation up against anyone. Anyone. To the court no. system? They'll just go no, up. No, and, and here's down. why... And here's why, Steve, we're taking that that would have took five months. That's how long. it. Yeah, that's it's too long. For, it would take them five months to believe my bullshit. Me. <laughs> so that's why at the symposium, we just wanted everybody to uh, to show them it was from the 2020 election. Uh, no. It wasn't, by the way, your own guy said we, this is just junk. It's unusable. It's not from the election. It's from. You know, uh, allegedly, some of it is from the days around the election, not from the election. If I, if on November 3rd of last year, I download all the code that was used by three people watching Netflix all fucking day, and I show it to you and you go, was this from November 3rd? Like, yes, it was. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, let's see. That's part of the election. No, it wasn't. This is what people were binge watching instead of watching the news. Everybody knows that. So now what we're doing. No, they don't. <laughs> Bullshit. We're showing that. Why don't you get COVID again? Took three months to work on uh, extrapolating from the raw data from the packet captures to wait, what we can read, what you had uh -huh. on the screen before the latitude, longitude, the intrusion, what it flipped. Yeah. You know, yeah. The dude on uh, using in-flight internet. On a flight in that uh, on a plane that's apparently right now parked in Kansas. Not a big international hub to fly to China. I don't know what flights to China are. Str Let's see. Can we look up? Uh, we uh, there's got to be possible, right? Hold on. Uh, direct. Let's see. Um, let's see. Kansas City. It's MCI, right? MCI to. China direct flight. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's. I mean, it. If you're, you can fly to Beijing. It's two stops though, and it's a one day in thirteen hours. That's going to cost you six grand. Shanghai's just two stops. That's one day in six hours. So. A little easier. Guangzhou, one stop. Uh, two days and four hours. Fuck, man. How many? Is it two one-day flights? That's seven grand. Xi'an, uh, you can go two stops. Chongqing. Chongqing, uh, by the way, is my... Um, I call bullshit on the population of China City. If you ever want to hear that story, that's fun. Um... One city, 35 million people, allegedly. And yet, everywhere I went, I was able to stick my arms out and spin around without bumping into anyone. Um, whereas, I can't do that in Sydney, Australia, and the entire country has 25 million people. Um, one would think it would be a little more crowded. We were able to get anywhere in that city in traffic uh, in less than 45 minutes. 35 million people, one city. LA has seven. Try getting from the west side to Hollywood at 6 o'clock um, in less than three hours. Just saying. So uh, I'm, the point I'm trying to make is there are no flights. That airplane that's sitting in Kansas City right now that has go-go in-flight uh, that attacked our election, not a Chinese plane. Just saying for the record. Um, and this is the face of someone too stupid to even talk about the 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 technology he's discussing. But we're, what we're doing is we're going to their... How you need to take on people who actually have an argument then and only then when you shine the way you should. These assholes aren't worth your time. Well, Mary, the point is these people are who they're taking cues from. Mike Lindell says this to Steve Bannon, and then this works its way up to fucking Hannity and Tucker Carlson. This is where it starts. And so it, you can, you know... If you want to take down a tree, you attack the root, not the fruit. Know what I'm saying? Okay. Specific machines. Let's say it's a, a county in Missouri. We a county in Missouri. Okay. Right to the machines, and we do an audit there. So that gives them a... That shows them... You might want to... Somebody get him some horse paste. 
way that our stuff is exactly that they are, uh, um, you know, if you go to a machine and it matches the packet captures there and it matches the data there, uh, you marry the two and it's an exact match. And we're also doing with your doctor. So it isn't. I mean, there's no, first of all, your the software he put forward, the, the receiving end, the targeted IPs are not Secretary of State election board machines or any of the computers that were in those areas. They're just email servers. Someone check their fucking email. Ah. Uh. Inks and your Jesus. and your Draja, these they all come together, and uh, yeah. we even found a county. I'm not going to say the state where they had no machine. Dude, say it. Why aren't you going to say it? At this point, what are you afraid of? He's being sued by Dominion for 1.3 billion. Why won't he say this stuff? There's three states. I can't tell you. They're red states. I won't tell you what they are. Well, why not? The people in those red states are on your fucking side. Who cares? <laughs> But because of the transfer point to the Secretary of State's office, that county actually had the same thing happen to okay. it at every other what, county. So it's what, been very What county? You, oh, you mean I'm supposed to look at that piece of data that, that Steve Bannon just put up, and I'm supposed to extrapolate from the bullshit that was there that we just proved live on the air is nonsense, that I'm supposed to now take that as evidence that your claims about an unnamed Secretary of State's office in an unnamed county that was attacked by an unnamed computer is completely valid, and three months they'll have it together. Cough, cough, cough. Piss off. This is so dumb. It's easier than I thought because of the awareness now. The awareness. How many That's what we, we need new an states do you think? Because, uh, in, by the way, for the audience, we're going to have uh, some representatives, I think, of the grassroots movement in Pennsylvania that are not in love with the Jay Corman uh, um, hearings next week and want just to go right to... Uh, uh, yeah, you might want to have a sip of, of ivermectin before the next one. He's got a, he's got a, a mug full of uh, horse dewormer. Right to subpoenas for the ballots. To, because to do a full forensic audit, you got to get your hands on the ballots. We know that from Arizona. No, you don't. You... It, a full forensic audit. This is where they're going. We need to look at these ballots to see if there's any fucking uh, bamboo and panda shit in the paper. So we're going to have, and don't think, look, we're, we're putting pressure on these guys, and we understand exactly what's going on, so don't think we're being naive about this. Um, but I don't think you're being naive. I think you're absolutely scamming this dumbass. I think you and this guy over here, whoever the fuck he is, are ripping that asshole off. You are... You have this idiot, you view him as an idiot, a useful idiot, is putting ads on your show as long as you let him come on and yammer this blather and you promise to have other people on, he dumps a shit ton of money your way. And he's one of the only uh, sponsors you have. That's what this is all about. Because every time he's saying, like, how many times have we done it? Like nine times where Steve Bannon started cracking up about this bullshit when he's like... You know, you're going to uh, you're going to th this is where the rubber hits the road, right? Talk at these red state hot ivermectin with lemon. Is that, does that work? Is that good? We do not. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I've always heard that, like, um, it, there's a uh, ivermectin soup um, that you can have or whatever. Um, I understand that you, you coat your rectal thermometer in ivermectin. And that is <laughs> I'm kidding. Please. No, I'm kidding. All right. Secretary of State, how many new red states or how many red states or how many states that are not Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, you know, the battleground states that were all over? Wait, to did we start back at the top? Yeah, we did. That was the end of it. And we went back to the top. And then it just circled back around. I see. OK. Did it end back at this? Wait. I'm going to say the state where they had no machines, but because of the transfer point to the Secretary of State's office, that county actually had the same thing happen to okay. it at every other what? county. So it's been but, very. What do you mean? Again, that same thing happened. What do you mean? People counted their ballots. I, God damn, this is stupid. But this is I mean, this is t when did this when did they put this on? Uh, yeah, that's today. That 6,920 views just on Rumble, 897 Rumbles. And there's, look at all this stuff. All hell's going to break loose in Georgia, Bannon's war room. 
full forensic audience of two key states will get Giuliani off the hook, Bannon's war room. Uh, um, risk limiting audits versus full forensic audits, defendtherepublic.org. All 50 states must have full, like, we need forensic audits. This is fucking Sidney Powell with the Wiggy Waga bullshit. 17 God wins. We, where we go on all that nonsense? Is this an ad or something? Hold on. I, I need to see this. It's 50 seconds. There's Forensic no audits in all these battleground states, ma'am. We absolutely must have them. In First of all, why is she Zoom calling in from an Ed DeBevix? <laughs> That's a fake background, by the way. It's sharper than she is. So I don't know. That's always a mistake when your webcam is uh, focus is softer than your background. It's kind of a dead giveaway. Need money for the Arizona audit to wrap up right now. You can go defending the Republic. Yeah, you got to go send them some cash. Cash. Go to our Arizona page. Every dollar you donate. Yeah, every dollar you donate goes straight to uh, filling our jukebacks. I got chills that multiply in, and I'm losing control. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be giving directly to the audit. Can you see me standing here? I got my back against a record machine. Fantastic job there. Countless. I ain't the worst that you've seen. It's just sent dignitaries and officials to go see how they're doing it so they can replicate it in their states. It's the gold standard of how these audits must be conducted, and we must audit the vote. The American people are entitled to the truth. I don't care how far... They're, you know what they're entitled to? 16-bit uh, graphics rather than 8-bit. I'm just saying you're... You got a real PNG problem right there. It goes, we have got to find out, and we have to protect our... Uh, by the way, the, I, I guarantee the audio sucks on this because someone used their phone to record this off of uh, their computer screen, uh, right? And it turned way up because the first time they tried it was too quiet. And then they put it in, and then they put these graphics under, and they listed it to their Rumble page. But they made like nine bucks on it. They got 44 Rumbles or something silly like that. Um, vote. Look, Trump won. They can't stop what is coming. I don't know if I would put they can't stop what is coming when Trump is uh, doing his jerk off all over my tie move. Ew. It's just his cow milking grossness. Oh, God. 